Yeah, thanks, Tina. Um, actually, I think I can build on, on a lot of what Richard, um, Richard was saying, and I'll try and do it in five minutes, Richard. But, uh, <laughs> so you know, I, I became CEO, I was privileged to become CEO of Intercontinental Hotels uh, last year. And I think something we all know, and certainly everybody in this room, I'm sure, that being CEO has changed, actually, in terms of what you have to do. So as opposed to just thinking about shareholder returns, we clearly have to think about, uh, about other stakeholders. And so we talk about, at, at our company about being an and company. So it's not either or. It's not either you're going to you know, make uh, returns for shareholders or support the community. You have to be an and company. Uh, and you, you have to do both. And I think the other thing that's become very important and very clear to us is you have to embed responsible business practice in everything that your company does and in the vernacular to make it, make it part of the DNA. Now, as Stephen pointed out, actually, in his, in his letter and then in his, in his few words, we do have a lot of challenges to deal with, uh, in the, especially in the UK. You know, we do have this anti-business environment. Uh, sadly, our own government as well is, is part of that. And those challenges range from reducing consumer trust in brands to concerns over executive pay. And of course, they do include a whole range of CR issues on which many people have many views. And the reality of, is many of those views are wholly unaligned and mutually incompatible, which just makes our job you know, that bit, hard, bit harder in trying to deal with them. So, so our approach to it, uh, and I'm firmly of the opinion that, as in most other areas of business, as a management team, uh, you're tasked with doing the right thing for the organization and for the shareholders with a, a long-term view. And the approach to corporate responsibility or responsible business is, in my view, you know, no different. And, and what that probably means is that, that planting trees or just funding the favorite CR initiative of your chairman or, more likely, your chairman's wife it is unlikely to be enough or, or to be effective in the long term. And what it does mean is that the actions that your company has to take has to be true to its purpose and its values and what it stands for in the business that it operates in. So at, at IHG, we've thought a lot about the role of hotels in society and the resulting responsibilities and opportunities that that creates. Now, hotels have been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years, and we were there and hotels were originally designed to give shelter, comfort, safety, places to sleep, places to, to celebrate for work and pleasure and so on. So we have a, you know, we have a long history as an, as an industry. And we also provide a lot of meaningful work for a lot of people. Now, as Tina said, we are a big company. We're in the FTSE 100. We've got 4,500 hotels in 100 countries, and we've got another 1,100 or so signed up to, to come into our system. So that's a big responsibility, but also a huge opportunity to harness that unique scale, I think, in our industry and create value for our company, but our owners, our employees, our guests, and our communities. And, uh, and actually, being, being the business that we are, we don't have an option of operating or not in our community and supporting our communities, because our hotels are in the communities. And in many markets, particularly the emerging markets, the hotel can be the center of a town or a, a village or even a small city, and everything happens there. So you are in your communities. So what does that mean in practice? In practice, we identified a small number of areas where we thought we could make a difference, building on really the heritage and what our company stands for. So job creation is a good example. You know, hotels offer jobs at many different levels. Uh, one of the issues that we have in many markets is finding good people. So we've created something that we call the IHG Academy, which is an approach to partner our hotels with community organizations and other institutions that gives local people training and on the ground experience of working in a hotel. So that improves their employability, but it also creates for us a pipeline of trained, motivated potential recruits in markets where it might be difficult to find those. Now our business model relies on franchising. So we only own 11 of those 4,500 hotels. And what that means is we have to work in partnership with third party owners to drive our responsibility agenda. And that's actually helpful because that challenges us and it challenges us to show that acting responsibility is good for business, not just some esoteric idea, and that it can help drive the bottom line and drive business. And, and the IHG Academy therefore helps our owners address a big issue of, of how they find people. So we now have 42 academies, further 12 on the way in seven countries. And in 2011, we 
um, put 5,500 people through the programme and gave them the opportunity, they didn't all take it, but gave them the opportunity to work for IHG uh, and get, get a great job. One of the other key roles of hotels in society is what we call shelter in a storm, which is uh, hotels are in the middle of natural disasters. During the London bombings, our Holiday Inn in Bloomsbury became the triage centre. So we have an initiative to, to help hotels do the things that they have to do in, in times of disaster. And we also have what we call the IHG Shelter Fund, which is giving our employees around the world the opportunity to raise funds for disasters in advance so when something happens, we have the capacity to react. And what we found with this, interestingly, was we thought it was a great idea. It didn't get great traction until we actually um, brought it to life for our employees and we, we showed them much more about what we were doing and what their money was helping happen. Uh, and that really um, created a lot, a lot more traction. The last thing we do is we created something called Green Engage, which is effectively an online tool that helps hotel manage waste uh, energy, water, and so on, which is something we developed off the shelf, uh, developed ourselves rather than bought off the shelf, so we could make sure that it worked for hotels and there was no trade off between customer experience and effectively you know, utilization of resource. And, and that was actually very helpful in terms of making it effective and getting it into our, into our hotels. So I think just to, to sum up very briefly, what I'd, what I'd say is that, you know, as a company operating in the world today, you have no choice but to address. Uh, you know, to be responsible and address the community and, and, and pl the planet's resources. I think what's really important, what worked for us, is to understand the role that your organization plays in society, in the world, and, and take your responsibility initiatives from that so that they're real and so that they're relevant. And that, in that way, they can become sustainable because you can invest in them in good times and bad, and you can get the support of your employees and other stakeholders, in our case, owners, behind them in, in good times and, and bad times. And you do have to capture the hearts of your people if you want them to support it. And that means do something that's relevant for the business and give your, your employees, your team members, an opportunity to participate, which is an area where the academy has been so strong for us because not only are we providing job opportunities, but we're giving opportunities for our people to go out and work in the academies and help in the academies um, and, and, and help develop people who are going to ultimately join our company.